My name is Shana Newton. I reside in Oregon. My eye condition is ocular albinism, and I also have nystagmus, which isn't my main issue, but I also have that. I was born with low vision. Mine is a genetic mutation. Um, I've never seen any difference. Kind of interesting because people ask me, well, what do you see? This is like, I don't know, what do you see? This is just my world. Visual impairment affects more of my independence. I would say I'm an independent person, but my visual impairment makes it so going out and ordering food, asking, you know, just navigating my environment is a little bit more challenging and time consuming. In school, um, it's a real challenge um, navigating campuses, dealing with just, you know, inaccessible environments. Or four years ago, I tried Isai for the first time. It was really exciting, and I was able to see the tops of buildings in the city like I'd never seen before. And I never really thought about like people have gardens on the top of their buildings, people have workout equipment, just like they hang out out there. And I never even thought of that because it's out of sight, out of mind. So I was able to be like, whoa, there's things I don't even, I don't appreciate, I don't even think about because it's just, it's not in my realm of vision. So it was kind of exciting. It made me really looking forward to being able to use it in my daily life. There's lots of things I've been missing out visually without eSight. So eSight has made it so when I go to the grocery store, I can, you know, wear my eSight. I'm able to zoom in, navigate the store without having to waste so much energy walking back and forth. You know, I'm not walking three miles in the store just trying to figure out what is that. Um, I'm also able to, I found really nice, able to read ingredients lists, actually see what I'm buying without, without the pressure of bringing a hand magnifier, navigating all of that. eSight's also a giving me the ability to go out. Like I said, I said like I waste a lot of time just walking around trying to figure out things. So I've been able to go to the park and watch people play basketball games. It's something very insignificant to other people. I watched somebody play fetch with their dog. And it was just so calming and relaxing to be able to go to the park and to enjoy the visual aspect, not just the environmental aspect. I don't have to worry about being visually impaired. I can just worry about enjoying my time and whatever I'm doing. Oh, wow. <laughs> it was mind boggling. Um, I'm a pessimistic person. I don't expect things to go great. So it was just like, wow, this is like, I can't believe this is happening to me. This is, you know, this opens up the world for me. I can, you know, like I said, once I go back to classes, I'm able to, I can just focus on learning. I can enjoy my life instead of being, you know, daunted with all this visual things that I'm missing out on. Even the freedom to just go out and not have to worry about things. Like, I don't know how to express that. But just like being able to live my life the way I want without having to focus on, oh, can I see this? Can I do this? Is this limiting? want to go to a play it's like it opens up options like I would never go to a play before this it kind of seems like a waste of time like I only listen to auditory and you miss so much visual stimulation but you've actually being able to go see a play and what's actually happening sounds so exciting to me it opens up things that before I like discounted would ever happen I just want to say thank you I really appreciate it <laughs> this type of technology opens up so many doors for people like me that wouldn't exist otherwise it's just you know, thank you for doing what you're doing and I feel so honored to have won this piece of equipment.